perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I guess this is more of my channel because you've only seen me so far. <laughs> but oh well, you'll get to see more of us. Um, the is in the front with her auntie right now, so I'm getting the opportunity to do this video. This is going to be finally the chatty. I was going to do it with us, but my daughter wasn't really going to stay still for the whole thing. So let's just do the chatty get ready with me video with just me today. Oh, like I'm going to... <laughs> so yeah, so it's a chatty get ready with me video today and as you can see the first thing of my day when I get ready is take a shower. I'm gonna make this kind of unrealistic when say like because I have days where give me a second I have my coffee so I gotta have my coffee. I have days where you know, sometimes I'm literally so bored that I get full on ready, like makeup, hair done, everything. If not, most of my lazy day, I'm either like this, the way I am, and that's it. And I'm ready just for the rest of the day because I'm usually at home. But I'm going to do sort of like an unrealistic kind of realistic thing because I do this from time to time. You know, it's not rare that I do this, but it is rare, if that makes any sense. Sorry. I should have kind of wrote down notes for this video, but I'm just kind of going with it as it goes. But, um, obviously I let my hair dry, I took a shower already, my, my hair is dry already, I did my coffee, I had breakfast, all that, um, while well, I'm having my coffee. So this one is actually a brand, um, I haven't heard of it before, but, um, I just recently got it, my sister-in-law, she gave it to me because I think she got some other, like, sort of another hair serum that works for her kind of hair and she gave me this one and so far I've, I've been using it you know like throughout the week and it's it works for my hair so, you know at least from what I can tell from so like so far um this is the I'm not sure how to pronounce it but if you guys have seen this brand it's this one um I'll try and find it and link it down below I'm not I think she got it at Ota or Sephora just like that so this this friend I'm gonna leave it there for a little while so it tells you the directions in the back so um, I already know how to pump since I have really long hair when it's not wet or damp I only put two pumps but when it's really wet like recently fresh out the shower I put three and a half pumps because I have really long hair now so right now it's just two pumps and then just do this and you know what I forgot to do you guys I forgot to get my hair straightener that's part of it and i forgot to warm that up for you guys oh my gee so much for starting this vlog sorry i'm looking at the viewfinder to see if i'm putting it all in my hair make sure i'm not missing anything i like doing this for some reason i don't know it's just a weird habit i'm probably not even applying it correctly but you know what to each their own so this is the first step i do my hair because I sweat a lot, so I like to get that over it. My hair gets really frizzy easily. And this one I noticed because it gets really staticky. Also, like if I brush it or just rub my fingers through, it's like already staticky. This one I've noticed helps it not to be so um, staticky, I guess is the right word. So when I straighten it, it stays flat. Um, it doesn't have my hairs coming up or anything. It's just, I don't know. It works for my hairs from what I've noticed, you know. So I like it. So my hair has gotten longer before. It used to be like above my breasts, above my chest, better said. And now it's like by my waist. Literally, it's by my waist. So that's what I like to start off with. And let me get the straightener. Alright, got my straightener. Now I just gotta connect it and all that. I knew I was forgetting to do something. I was like, ah, oh. I'm like, I'm gonna start it anyways. So, oh, really close up. I have like really thick kind of hair, so I put my um, hair straight to the highest. If you have really thin, thin hair, do not put it up to the highest level. Do like probably the second level because this will burn your hair off. Anyway, all that's getting ready. I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee. And I did like a little poll on Instagram, you know, for you guys to ask me questions. Um, obviously I don't have a lot of like followers, but I don't care. I still did it. And um, from what I got, I got a couple questions. 
So let's answer one of them while we wait for the hair straightener. Give me a minute. Okay. So I'm going to get this one out of the way. So this first question, it's like a two-in-one question. It says, talk about how much you love being a mom or what's your favorite part about parenthood. Whew, where do you even start with a question like that? There's so many like things you can say and it's just going to be an endless, endless conversation about parenthood. There's ups and downs. Obviously, we all love the ups. Um, we sometimes adore the downs to the point where it's just stressful. So my favorite part about parenthood. Hmm. And I saw these questions yesterday and I still couldn't come up about what my favorite part about parenthood. I think it's watching my child grow. I think that's my favorite part. It's very emotional for me. Like I'm a very sensitive person. So when I've noticed that she's grown like mentally emotionally and physically like all that aspect of her learning stuff type of growth i get super emotional and and it's an emotional where i'm just so proud of her like ugh, i can't even express how emotional i get when i've noticed that she's grown like um she's grown this week by learning her colors her shapes her letters and it's, it's just amazing because um, I would always, I wouldn't push it on her, but I would always try to be like, oh, this is the letter B, can you say B? And she, she just wouldn't repeat after me. And now, like, every day it's endless, mom, this is the color blue, mom, this is the color red. And she knows the character's name from, like, Paw Patrol, so she has, like, Marshall, the little toy Marshall from Paw Patrol. She's like, mom, red, Marshall. And I'm like, yes, that is the color red. Yes, that is Marshall from Paw Patrol. And it's just... It's just amazing. That's I think that's like my number one favorite part of parenthood. Like just watching them grow like and accelerate in life and like ugh, it's just gotten so big. Like literally so big. Oh, alright, that's hot. So yeah, that I would say is my favorite part of parenthood of all time. So I have a mirror right next to me, so if I'm looking this way it's because of that reason. So let's do this and then like that. All right, I kind of got weird angles, but yes, that is my favorite part about parenthood. And me as a parent, I think one of the questions, let me see, let me go back to it. It was, am I a strict parent? Um, I guess I would say I am. But I'm not, I guess. I feel like I'm kind of like in the middle between being strict and fun. Because I can be really silly. Like, I'm a really silly person. Um, <laughs> I'm the weirdest per like parent Like between me and, and Ricky. Like, I'm the weirdest one. I, I play like the funniest. He plays in a more aggressive way. And by I mean aggressive, it's like, like he grabs her, you know, throws her up in the air, you know, kind of aggressive, and I don't like playing aggressive, but I do play in a very silly manner, um, so I'm like, you know, I make funny noises, or I act like an animal with her, you know, that kind of silly, um, but I am strict, I guess, when it comes to, um, I guess, punishments, not, I feel like that's a really terrible word, um, not, I guess that's the best term I can come up with, but I guess I'm more strict when it comes to, ah, oh, I just lost the word, I just had it, dang it, when it comes to, dang it, I literally just had the word in my mouth, and then it just disappeared when I was gonna say it, but, um, yeah, I'll, I'll say I'm, I guess I'm strict, and by that, it's just, um, disciplining her, there we go, when it comes to discipline, um, I allow her to express herself like if she's upset I tell her she has every right to be upset um, but there's also a limit to it so I try to limit how she expresses it because the kids they don't know how to let all that rage out so that's why we're there for them like to show them or give them an alternative way as to not be you know overboard with their tantrum I guess 
Uh, this is like a really difficult question for me because I don't know how to word everything per se and you know I don't know so this is why I need a notebook but um I guess how can I say it but let's say she gets really upset um, at me and then she grabs a toy and throws it or th grabs my phone knowing that she's not allowed to throw it on the floor looks at me and throws it anyway that is what I mean by I limit her um, way of expressing when she's upset like her emotions so you know that's where I jump in I'm like okay y'all you want to be mad be mad and and I tell her it's like that's fine by me but don't be doing things that you know you're not supposed to do you know because like, you're gonna make mommy upset and you don't want that you know like I just that I say things like that you know I I don't I try avoiding having to smack her thank god I haven't um I think I've smacked her only once and it sounds terrible saying smack I think I've given her like a little hand spanking once or twice um but I try to limit that like I try in my point of view as as her mom I I want to I try more more of her trying to verbally express herself than writing rather than just ignoring and avoiding the whole situation you know just letting it like disappear on its own i don't like that i i want her to confront whatever she has you know emotionally going on or whatever's upsetting her i want her to confront me about it in other ways that i'm strict um but when it comes to cleaning up i am a neat freak uh my room is always messy so i'm always always frustrated like not always that's not no that's not right uh let me word that better um, I can get annoyed sometimes with the mess because it's always cleaning up the same mess so I can get quite annoying especially when it's her toys before she would um, you know she would pick up when I would tell her to like after her toys when she's done playing but recently she's in that stage where she was like well I don't want to pick up so you pick up my toys you know kind of thing so she doesn't say that but I'm, I'm saying I think she's in that stage so that's when I get upset, you know, because I've stepped on her toys with my foot so many times and then it gets bruised and it's just an, I can't walk for like a week. I mean, I could walk, but it just hurts when I step on that bruised foot for stepping on her toys. So, um, and when, when it comes to that, um, I try to teach her how to be organized, like her things right here, um, her toy chest is organized so she needs to remember, she remembers where each of her toys go because she needs, we need to teach them at a young age how to be organized and you know how to clean up, you know, it's not a, it's not a bad thing to teach them at a young age as long as you make it fun and as long as you, um, you know, don't torture them by cleaning up your mess, you know, I only tell her to pick up after herself, you know, that's, what I do you know when she gets older maybe little by little I'll help I'll teach her how to broom so that way when she's older she doesn't you know have any of those missing qualities if she ever moves out you know to clean up after herself in her own home but yeah so when she doesn't want to pick up her toys I keep going off topic I'm sorry um, but when she doesn't pick up after her toys I um, that's when I take away her privileges from things like that when she starts to act up and really doesn't want to clean up and then uh, I think I let it be for like between 10 to 15 minutes and then I tell her like okay if mommy starts picking this up and you're not helping mommy then um, you know I tell her your privileges are gone for the rest of the day and she understands what I mean because she's learned the hard way once or I think twice already like she hasn't gotten juice or bone or anything and she doesn't like that like she gets upset so um, so she picks up after herself and you know now or something she just bites me on it and then waits till I get upset and start taking away her privileges and then she starts cleaning up so I'm st I guess I'm strict in that kind of manner but playing wise not really to my sisters I'm like a 10 like 1 to 10 I'm a 10 strict for them but I, I feel like I'm not <laughs> But I'm pretty sure every parent feels that way. They'll be like, I'm not strict, you know? I let them do this and that. But, like, there's just some things that we don't let all our kids do like other parents do. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? It's just it's just our way of wanting to raise our kids. 
And okay, let's see. Let's see. I think there's two more questions or one more question. Oh, there's two more questions. So, and this one's from my sister. She said, um, "Are you moving out or not?" Um, yes, we plan to move out. Um, we're very lucky for um, my in-laws to allow us to stay here until we get our shit together. Like literally, we're trying to get our shit together financially. So, um, I think we've been here for about, I think two years now we just don't know when we're really trying to get our stuff together but yeah so right now i actually have an application like for um for a um and i don't know like a lot of people might be against it but you know what when you need it you need it okay so i have an application since 2016 i believe for a um project housing for housing so that's what's happening that's why we're still in my in-laws so, you know, I'm grateful we have a roof over our head. Yeah, that answers that question. I think the last question was also my sister. She said, if we're planning to have another baby or not. <laughs> yes, I answered that question already on the introduction video of our channel. I, that was like one of my huge announcements in that video that we are planning already for our second baby. <laughs> I'm so excited. So yeah, when I get ready, I layer my hair because I have a lot of hair. And it's really long, so if I do it just like that, it's, it's not going to shade at all parts of my hair. So to answer that question, so yes, we are planning. No, I am not pregnant. I'm just out of breath because I'm a fat person who doesn't work out like I used to. And I'm drinking coffee. But yes, I hope this year... I get pregnant. I don't know what happened. I hope so. I really hope so. Or like I had um I had a birth control. It was a Paragard and I just took it out on March. So it's April, March, April. So it's barely been like a month. Yeah, it's been a month already since I had my birth control out. I'm sorry, if I look this way because I had my calendar and I was making sure it was a month already. But yes, it's been a month since I hadn't had my birth control. This is the first month. Um, the paragraph that I had didn't have any hormones, so I don't really need to wait for like my body to like get used to without being all like hormones from the birth control. My my was just the paragraph, so it's just like that that little Y or that little T that goes up your uterus, uterus and uterus up your cervix. There we go. So, <sighs> crossing fingers. Hopefully, I get pregnant fast. <laughs> Not that I want to push it, but, you know, I'm pushing it. So, to answer that question, yes, I we are planning our baby this year. So, if it happens this year, it happens. And if it doesn't, it happens next year, you know? So, yeah. Uh, what else to talk about? I had, I wanted to say something, but I honestly forgot what I wanted to say when right now since I answered all the questions first um oh okay so with this video with the get ready with me video I'm gonna do like a little um I guess clothes modeling type of thing like a try on haul there we go I didn't buy these clothes just to throw that out there so I would not tell be able to tell you where each of that piece of clothing were gotten from because these are hand-me-downs but because they're new to me I'm gonna try it on just for fun of this video just for the fun of it so you're gonna see me do a a try it on a try on haul from hand-me-downs really beautiful hand-me-downs so it's gonna be a fun video I hope if I can make it fun then it'll be fun all right so so do you see what I mean like if I hadn't put in this on I swear to God to you guys my hair would be right here you would see my hair being here I'm loving it I'm loving it so yeah oh so maybe I can talk about the Lysa's birthday so 
she's gonna turn three i'm not sure if you guys know or not but she's turning three years old in about two months oh my god her birthday's coming so fast why but yes it's coming really fast oh, i'm so excited i have most of her things ready um my boyfriend says that he has i think a uncle who has like chairs and tables so that we don't have to worry about that which is awesome we have a tent right here so that's awesome i already have most of the things and I'm, we're saving some money you know one of the things i i am gonna have for her birthday i was gonna hire a face painter because her theme is a i'm just gonna say it i don't know if i want to say it or not it's gonna be a really cool theme so if i can tell you what i'm getting and you guys can figure it out you know comment down below and i'll probably 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 send you guys something from the potty so i'll probably send you like a centerpiece or something i don't know so comment down below what you think her theme party is going to be and if you get it right like I'm the first person to get it right and i'm pretty sure the comments will go in order so like the first person to get her theme correct is gonna get something i'll get you guys something so um okay i'll give you a hint it is it has a disney theme but it also has the nerd theme to it so how can i explain it it's not really disney theme but it has a disney character theme to it added i guess you can say so you have that and um this will be another hint where i'm going to tell you what i'm going to get on her birthday and if you guys can figure out what the theme is then you can get something pretty cool pretty cool i have pretty cool gifts to give out so yeah um so for her birthday um i'm already putting money aside for a i was going to get a face painter like someone who like paints your face and everything but i went online and then like where i i saw like this place for the face painters i really like them they also do something else which i was like i gotta get this instead of the face painter so um what i'm gonna get is uh i think it's called a cartoon artist so have you ever gone to like the la zoo or like i think they used to have it at city walk where you sit down and people sketch like like not funny looking but like kind of like exaggerated cartoon character version of yourself and they sketch that out for you so i want to get that i'm gonna hire one of them i'm gonna get money next this month at coming i'm gonna have money aside for that i'm gonna call them i'm gonna tell them i have the birthday date this you know on Ju it's gonna be on july 13th so um i'm gonna get a cartoon artist and i'm gonna get the color one because i want them i want them to do like all the colors and everything i'm gonna have them get to the party i think probably an hour after it starts so that i can make sure everyone is gonna show up because i think they only stay there for like an hour and then i think it costs a uh, hundred dollars extra for another hour so i'm gonna pay for two hours i want i want the whole two hours so um wow my hair this side doesn't looks pretty straight but it has my waves showing so i'm gonna just straighten that up all right so yeah i'm gonna pay for two hours for them to stay so that everybody gets a chance to get their cartoon you know sketched out so that'll be totally fun and different uh yeah and i'm gonna tell i'm gonna ask them if i can do like a request you know like make it seem like a like a disney cartoon of them um it's gonna be the funny one with the big head and everything but i want like a disney background to it so yeah so if you guys can figure out what her theme is with just those two things that i'm saying i'll get you guys something but just the one person though so even if you're really close to it and nobody gets it correct Yo, I'll get you guys something. And if you give me ideas of what to get you, you know? Would it be a fun thing to give away? Maybe I'll give you one away, like a, a cartoon. Oh, oh. And you know what? It's completely free. Nobody needs to pay for anything. So, like, I'm a paying, like, everything. So, the coloring and the paper and all that is free. So, they just come to the party and all that. So, 
the guests don't have to pay they can tip if they want to if not they don't have to so yeah i guess yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna get two things and i'll get you guys a um i'll ask you guys for your photo and then i'll have either your photo or something and then i'll get you guys a cartoon a cartoon sketch either of us of yourself or whatever you want i got you girl i got you i got you all right so that'd be a pretty cool giveaway wouldn't it what the hell what am i doing what the f i'm with i don't know if to do my makeup or not but i feel like i look fine I don't know. I think I'll do some more makeup because I'm not, my eyebrows are really like hairy right now. I'm trying to let them grow. I'm going to put them a little bit. I'm trying to let my eyebrows grow because uh, apparently some ladies who did my eyebrows decided to for me and thought that would be the best look. But it really wasn't. So I'm kind of growing them out. Hence why they're so, so bushy and hairy right now. So I'm not going to pluck them. But um, that's why I'm contemplating whether to do my makeup because... It'll look funny with my hairy, bushy eyebrows. But I don't think I am. I'll just put lotion in my face because I forgot to put lotion on my face when I got out the shower. Ugh. And then I wonder why my face gets so dry and oily sometimes. So, um, I either use Nivea or I use um, my daughter's Aveeno. I had the Aveeno um, Daily Face Moisturizer that had um, SPF. But I finished it because I bought like a small bottle of it. So I need to go ahead and buy myself another one. There we go. I feel moisturized. So let's go and try on some of these clothes that I got. My new hand-me-downs. <laughs> Who doesn't like my hand-me-downs? Y'all can judge. I, don't I love hand-me-downs. I really do. You got them close. I come knocking at your door. All right, let's get ready. I'm gonna show you outfit number one right now. I gotta close the shades for this though. Hey guys, so um, I'm cutting off the, um, this vlog here because as you can tell, it's already been 28 minutes in. And I did not plan for this video to be this long. <laughs> I'm actually editing it right now. So, um, the try on part of this video that I, um, mentioned earlier is going to be in a different, it's going to be separate. I'm going to edit it on a whole separate video. So it's going to be like a whole different video. So I just wanted to clarify that, um, all that so i hope you guys enjoyed this chatty get ready with me video um next time i'll definitely have delisa with me if you guys have any questions about delisa and stuff like that um feel free to ask or i'll do like a poll on instagram um so yeah um, if you love us subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that notification button it's like midnight i believe it's about to be midnight so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys and good night.